What's up, YouTubers, one and all? My name is Fate Nights at 87, and we're doing the uh, biggest Transformers Creo set of Season 2. And also, I've already started making plans for Season 3, but Season 3 is actually kind of, I guess, easier, per se, because I already have the stuff I need to do Season 3, except for one big knockoff set, which we will do later on, but that's besides the point. Today, we are taking a look at the Autobot Command Center. It is This is a rare set. I got this on Facebook for about $60, including shipping. Compared to the eBay prices, $150, that is a steal. That is officially a steal. $90 off. Also, I think this actually would have been like $50 back retail, so I, I think I kind of marked good on this i don't know also it comes with a shock weight that way i can actually build a driller next season yes like i said before we are doing driller for season three but i bumped up his uh i bumped up the drillers um build video until freaking what is it oh yeah uh 600 subscribers so yeah Anyways, that's the back, um, you ready to just show us all everything. Uh, here's all the obligatory product shop. We just got Starscream. All the names are correct, finally. Because on the last time we looked at the names, they were not correct. We got all the main characters here, except also one more. But, of course, I've already told you before, it's Knockout. And I'm glad it has Knockout in this set. Though, it's not my best, it's not my favorite Knockout print, if I'm gonna be honest. That actually belongs to the Street Showdown set. And yeah, so this is no longer sealed. We are about to actually open it. And I'm hoping I don't run into the problem that Miss Fantona had, which means that one of the minifigures was... Not minifigures. Creons was missing one of their pieces. I don't want that problem. So, it's open. And here we are. Yep, Ratchet's good. We got... I'm sorry, did they put all the pieces to build in inside of this? That's kind of clever, to be honest. We got this bag. Um, we got these. We got Shockwave, RC. We have Knockout right here. And we... Uh, where is he? Uh-oh. Oh, there he is. Bumblebee. Right here. Okay. So we have all the characters. Here's the big instruction booklet. With a whopping only 68 pages. But it's bigger in size compared to Galatron Factory Battle. So, I guess I can officially say this is actually the biggest instruction booklet. I keep saying that, but this time it really dwarfs everything else. So, size does matter, and yeah. So, that's the unboxing. Let's open up the figures. Also, we have all kinds of stickers. We have, like, bolt holes and scratch marks. Like, wow. We have all kinds of extra small pieces here. We have big pieces, even more big pieces, and then we have all these pieces right here. So, let's open it up and let's build it. So, the first figure they want us to build is really no one in particular. So, you know what? I'm going to build the Decepticons first. They don't get much love being built first, so... We have Shockwave, and Shockwave is based off of his uh, Transformers Prime incarnation, which I do appreciate. Of course, it doesn't fit over the head all the way, but eh, what are you going to do? However, it has the cannon on the, on the right arm instead of the left, but eh, nonetheless, there he is. 
and this is the shock where he's going to be running the driller inside of uh, the um, the driller build video for season three. All right, next up we have Knockout, and I'm gonna say right off the bat, I I'm not a big fan of this Knockout design. It looks too human. I do like the accents. I I do like how it's it's basically a neutralized Knockout, where it's basically like saying like choose your side of be him being an Autobot or Decepticon. But really, it doesn't matter. He only cares about his looks. So yeah, that's knockout for you. Right there. You can see you can see his little he's his tiny ass goatee. Like look at that. But it's not my favorite design of knockout, to be honest. It's not my not my favorite. Uh next up we have RC. This is our only female Autobot, and possibly our only female Transformer so far, unless I get Arachnid, but I'm probably not going to get Arachnid for now. And yeah, she uses a knockout helmet as well. It's weird. But hey, at least she looks the part. Next up is Ratchet, another character that I do not have. I could have got him with uh, Age of Extinction. Uh... Age of Extinction. Um, Donna Hauler, but I did not. So yeah, Miss Santana officially get jealous. I do like I do like the. Uh... I'm unfortunately if I just push it down too much. It is going to squint his eyes, or possibly even hide him entirely. I don't like that. So I'm just going to do it like that. There you go. And I'm probably going to do the same thing to knock out as well. That way you can start to see his eyes. And then the final figure, uh, at least Creon, is Bumblebee. And once again, this... It's it's kind of hilarious because um, I do I have many I don't think I have many Bumblebees but I have so many Optimus Prime it's um freaking believable but yeah uh so yeah and I like this once again I really do so yeah that's all five Creons right there so now I think. I think it's time to build. I think it's this. I think this one is vertebrae. Like I, I keep calling this one vertebrae, and I think that's basically what it is. Also, yeah, my suspicions were correct. All the pieces needed to build vertebrae is inside of this. This bag, like what the heck? I just wonder how this build's gonna go though, because it, it seems really interesting. Are we just gonna end up building all the main characters of this set before we actually build the actual set? Like it'd be it'd be amazing. And, uh, so, so another thing I wanted to talk about was actually the state of Season 3. I've changed Season 3 a lot several times. We're not going to start Season 3 until after TF1 drops. So, I'm going to say that right now. No, no Season 3 until TF1 is released, and I do a spoiler review on it. But after that, Season 3 will consist of something different. It's not going to be the same as, like, before where I, like, buy all kinds of big sets and whatnot. I, there's going to be one set, one big set I will buy. I will say that. Also, okay, that's honestly clever. This is the alien's body, but it's also the fucking head. 
That is actually clever. Uh, that That's clever. I love that. I actually love that. Anywho, as I was saying, um, the season three is going to be consisting of not a lot of sets, to be honest, because we have the how do I put this? I do want to get a knockoff Death Star. Do I want to get the? Do I want to get a knockoff version of Barrador? Yes, but I just do not have the space. So Death Star will just have to do. And besides, Death Star is possibly one of the most iconic Lego sets that you just basically can't buy without blowing your fucking bank. So what I'll have to do instead is I will. Oh, nice tail. What I will have to do instead is um. What I will have to do instead is I will have to basically just kind of, one, make space. But two, I guess also just keep an eye on what I buy because I'm really going to be, like, with no space at all by the time this year is over. I was like, sure, I managed to actually get the, uh... Get it with uh, the studios, uh, not Caesars. Um, I've have I have a lot of pre-orders on the way and whatnot for Transformers. Well, not a lot of pre-orders. I only have like the ones for the final wave of Transformers Studio Series 2024. But also, I have one for the wave of uh, like I have uh, United. Um, leader class sound wave on the uh on the way as well. But I don't think that's really why I'm doing this per se. I think the reason why I'm kind of, you know, I like this horn piece right here. Oh my god. Look at that. That is interesting. Just like that. There we go. I don't have much space, basically. I do want to get one more childhood set, one or two more childhood sets before the end of the year, especially my Lego uh, Lord Business Evil Layer. I do want to get that for sure before this year is over. That's season three. So season three will contain of about there's Devastator. The Devastator set is what's needed to um the, the official uh full size Devastator, by the way, is the thing that is needed to build the driller. So with that being said, that is officially, I have to buy that set twice because I want to keep the actual Devastator set itself. Oh, look at that. That is a nice beast right there. That is an absolute nice beast. And with that, I think we just can call it part one. Because the next part of the set is 
we're gonna need to open all these bags. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, let me finish my thoughts first on what I was about to say. Uh, Lord vs. Evil Lair, Devastator set times two, and the de and like and Creo Death Star. And not the knock off Death Star. Why did I say Creo? There's no such thing as a Creo Death Star. What the fuck? But I guess what I'm trying to say is I got season three already planned out. But you might be wondering. That's four thousand pieces, and then two times building Devastator. One of them is turning into uh the freaking driller. And the and then there's also extra and there's also a little placebo layer. That's probably about like 80 videos right there. So is there anything else I do plan for for season three? Yes. I am probably not going to get the Source Dragon of Motion this year. Maybe next year. Maybe it'll be for Christmas special. Who knows? But I already have what I have in mind for Season 3's other builds, because obviously I probably gotta try to make this season even longer, which hopefully is not the case. I can just do like four or five sets and then something else on the side. And that something else is, ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to announce that I finally finished my Transformers 3D Battle Card Game Collection. I have collect. I have officially bought a listing where it has the rest of the Energon, uh, basically the entire Energon, uh, Wars expansion, which is the only thing I really needed. Well, I needed five out of the twenty one out of the twenty six, because I already had twenty one out of the twenty six right now, so I only need five more. I basically just rebought the entire thing. So yeah, I'm basically gonna be doing let's builds. For those, yep. Those will be season three. I will not be punching those out until I finish these. And who knows? Maybe I can start splicing season three in between actual Transformer reviews. Who knows? So yeah. Or probably just hide. Or probably just take a look at the things. and You know, we'll probably at least do an unboxing video for it. How about that? So yeah. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking notifications to be updating all updates and videos. This was a while rambling, I'm sorry, but if you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking, uh, I just said that. Please consider clicking like, comment, share, subscribe, and as always, to all I want.